Flip. Uh, the Protestant Reformation was a pivotal period that permeated much of Western Europe during the 16th and 17th centuries, ultimately concluding with the Peace of Westphalia, which effectively ended the Thirty Years' War and the religious fragmentation of Europe that was once bound together by almost universal Catholicism. Although the Protestant Reformation subsequently led to the Thirty Years' War and fragile continental relations throughout Europe for more than a century later, the Reformation was not entirely a bad thing. Uh, as Catholicism was the most powerful religion in the West, it was of course the most followed, feared, and regarded. In most cases, the Pope had more power than any given monarch in the kingdom. There are multiple reasons for this, however, one simple answer for this hierarchy is the fact that many people not only feared potentially burning eternal hellfire, but they feared persecution for religious heresy. This, and the genuine belief that the Pope was the highest authority below God himself. Because the Church had so much power and authority, generating money for projects was rather easy. One practice of doing so involved the sale of mostly bogus relics, with the promise to the buyer that the purchase would absolve their sins or those of a loved one who had already passed on, eliminating the possibility that they might be stuck in purgatory, aka heaven's waiting room, which is what, understandably very comforting. Johannes Gutenberg invented the Western printing press in 1450. There had already been similar inventions in China dating back to the 11th century, however, this nuance was not utilized in the West until Gutenberg came along. Movable type revolutionized uh, revolutionized the literary world as it fast-tracked the re reproduction of written works. Prior to the streamlining of the printing press into society, most copies had to be handwritten, which was done by monastics, or monks, nuns, what have you. Literacy was a very difficult thing to come by, as many lay people sought not to use precious little time on the pursuit of knowledge, but instead the immediate needs of their families. The, the ability to read and write lay in the hands of the bureaucrats and the, and the clergy who were trusted in individuals. Uh, once Martin Luther's ideas were printed, however, the idea that personal salvation and faith alone became popular. Um, thus, literacy rates began to rise. Uh, faith alone is the idea that uh, one may attain salvation, uh, entrance to heaven, by only having faith in God and nothing else. The traditional slogan in Europe at the time was faith and good works, which means you have to tithe, give money to the church, um, preach, uh, what have you. Um, it, is believed, it is believed that Martin Luther himself reproduced approximately 10 million works, that is, 10 million collective copies of works he had written using the printing press. Uh, at this time, it was very popular for people to carry pamphlets which conveniently fit into pockets and clothing. Uh, Martin Luther spent most of his adult life in hiding as the papacy labeled him a criminal and a heretic. Although the sentiment was shared with many, an even greater population followed suit, and history would witness the rise of many sects within, within Christianity. Uh, one of which is probably named Luther Lutheranism, which is still practiced in the 21st century. Although a great deal of revolutions and violence occurred as a result of this major philosophical split, the printing revolution remains crucial to the Protestant Reformation. Without the bolstering of literacy to gain personal salvation, the Dark Ages may have persisted for many years after, hindering the intellectuals who brought on the Enlightenment, if not snuffing it out completely. The Enlightenment, that is, not the individuals. Um, it may be also theorized that without the resulting religious diversity, the Puritans in England, who would become the first long-term European settlers in North America, may have never left in the first place. Furthermore, the United States might not have become a country at all. It's an interesting theory, I know. It's worth looking into. Uh, but I, I, I strongly believe that without the Reformation, without literacy happening in the, in, in the 16th century, America would not be a country today. Thank you for watching my video.